Factor rainbows. Factor rainbows are methods used to list all the factors for a given number. It's a systematic way to identify all the factors. So let's say I want to list all the factors of 6. I start with the smallest one. 1 goes into every number. So I know 1 is a factor of 6. I'm going to sort of draw the curved line like a rainbow going over to the, th the other number, the part of the factor pair that gets me 6. And I know 1 times 6 equals 6. So that's why they're connected with that rainbow. Then I start counting up. Does 2 go into 6? Yes, it does. 2 times I draw my rainbow over, 3 equals 6. Now there's no number between 2 and 3, so I know my factor rainbow is done. And I would say there's four factors of 6. The number is 1, 2, 3, and 6. And I know there's no others because I use this factor rainbow method, which helps me find all of them. Let's try 15. Again, I start with 1. 1 times 15 equals 15. Does 2 go into 15? Nope. Notice how I'm counting up. Does 3 go into 15? Yeah. 3 goes into 15 five times. 3 times 5 is 15. Does 4 go into 15? No, it doesn't. And since there's no numbers between 4 and 5, I know I'm finished with my factor rainbow. So my factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5, and 15. Let's try 12. I start with 1. Does 1 go into 12? Yeah, 12 times. Does 2 go into 12? Yeah, 6 times. 2 times 6 is 12. I'm still counting up. I did 1, 2. Does 3 go into 12? Yeah, 4 times. Now there's no numbers between 3 and 4, so I know my factor rainbow is done. So I have a total of 6 factors. Those are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12 for 12. How about 5? 1 times 5 is 5. Does 2 go into 5? No. Does 3 go into 5? No. Keep counting up. Does 4 go into 5? No. And I've already reached 5 in my rainbow, so I know I've listed all the possible numbers, and only 1 and 5 actually go into 5. So my factor rainbow is done. Only two factors. Hmm. I wonder what we call those. Could they be prime? Hmm. Let's try another one here. 1 times 25. Does 2 go into 25? No. Does 3 go into 25? No. Does 4 go into 25? No. Does 5 go into 25? Yeah, 5 times. So I'm going to put a little mini little rainbow just to itself. How many factors are there for 25? I've already reached the other side of the rainbow. Um, so I have 1, 5, and 25. Three factors. That's a special kind of number. When a number times itself gets us the 25. We call those square numbers, the results of a number times itself. So anytime you see one of these fancy rainbows, these little mini rainbows like this to itself, I know the result is a square number. So 25 happens to be called a square number. And you could say the square root of 25 then is 5. But that's a whole other topic. 9. 1 times 9 is 9. Does 2 go into 9? No. Does 3 go into 9? Yeah, 3 times. So I do another one of these little mini rainbows. And this is another one of those fancy square numbers. The number times itself equals the square number. So 3 times 3 is 9, so 9 is a square number. If I do the square root of 9, I get 3. So those are factor rainbows. They're just ways to help you list all the factors, yeah, all the factors of a given number.